Welcome to the dark, mysterious towers of our narrowboat. Where keeping warm just seems an impossibility with no fire. I came into the boat today and uh, our chimney is literally swinging off completely. No idea what's happened there. As Paul ventures into the dark, cold night to rescue his princess. <laughs> Where do you... Uh... Like a ghost. Oh. Oh. What's happened then? So... Do you want to know where I've got the eater from? Yeah, well you went to Tesco's. So, what's the time? What time was this? Right, so this was the dilemma. I went to Tesco's, all right. Bearing in mind I'll need to heat my family up whole night at least. <laughs> cut, to, cut to the chase. I didn't want to fork out of the hotel room. Right, so what happened was, I went to Tesco's, I expect. Or like I suggested. It's now five past eight. They ain't got no bleeding eaters at Tesco's, have they? Sold out because of the recent weather we've had, obviously. Five past eight. Where are you going to get a bloody eater at five past eight? Home base shut, B and Q shut, obviously at eight o'clock. Then that what does that leave you? Don't know. Spoke to the woman behind the till at Tesco's. She says, I'll have a little look on my phone, see if there's anything in the stock room. Right. Cut the minutes later, she goes. My computer says nah. <laughs> there ain't now. <laughs> so, come on in. What do you think she suggested? Where I should go and get this for? And I wouldn't have thought. We're in the middle of and nowhere, you so. Probably won't think of it. Garden centres would be shut. I wasn't in the middle of nowhere. You might have been, but I was in. I don't know Tesco's, I've not in, been. I was, it's in Daventry, where you keep taking me to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so where you keep taking me to McDonald's? Right, it's yeah. up there is a Pets at Home Home Bargains, but they all shut at eight. <sighs> home Bargains? You sure it's Home Bargains? B&M. B&M. Is that where you went? B&M come You've from. You've been B&M? Why did B&M come from? Because they shut at nine. For two reasons. They shut at nine. And they had heaters. So they come up. So we're sitting here roasty toasty. We're we? not roasty toasty. We're absolutely frozen. I've got my gloves on <laughs> indoors and my it's coat. We've got this. We've got this. Look at this gigantic, all powers. Gigantic <laughs> heater, which is two thousand watts, mind you. And to be fair. If you're about a foot away, or so, oh, it's supposed to stand up the other way. No, it's not. It's the feet it's... are at the bottom. Look. You stand it that way. It's adjustable. It's both. Oh, look. Stand it the other way, you donkey. It's much warmer when you're That throw. way? It's much warmer that way, isn't it? Of course it How is. How is that going to make any difference if it's like that or like that? As long as you're within a couple of foot of it, it's not too bad. You can leave your arm out of the out of the cover. Oh, actually, it's getting cold now. That <laughs> so we've now got up. We haven't been down here since Monday. No, we went home Sunday. So the boat said no heat in it at all. It's 70 foot long. It's been cold down here anyway. So there we go. Good luck, this is. It's gonna be a lovely evening, I suppose. When we try, well, I'm gonna give you a chance to give me a nice cuddle. Bit of spooning, <laughs> keep each other warm. Yeah. Bit of spooning, and Bit me and you. Spooning. No, not with a dog, <laughs> with me. Spoon with me, not the dog. He anyway, gives off great body heat. I think heat. for fifteen pound, I've had a right, I've had a right touch. Fifteen pound should have saved myself a, a, a whacking great <laughs> hotel bill. I think we'll be all right. Bit of Dunkirk spirit. Look at that. Looks a bit sad for itself when it's not all lit up. We would have looked a bit sad for ourselves if we lit it up. I would have thought. Yes, definitely. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
got my pyjamas on. <laughs> the next day, their musketeer took heed and drove them to the shop that helped them lots, called Midland Chandlers. So it's just taking away the old cement at the moment. It's all fun and games. Thing is, it seems with a boat, you kind of have these plans of what you're going to do the weekend, and then you kind of walk into a situation that's developed and realise that your plans all go out the window. And you end up doing something completely different to what you thought you were going to do. Oh, it's all good fun, isn't it? You know that there, Mr. Ah, they thought, what a great opportunity to clean the fire. Right, we've just been filled with cement, all the gap round there. Obviously, the, we put the rope in earlier, that's nice and low down. So that leaves a gap for the cement, so we've totally filled up that. There was a gap there as well, so we've filled in that. And then just wet your finger and then work your way around just to do the shape there. It's come out quite nice, really pleased with that. Um, also, we have got, although there's a weld here, so it should be quite secure. Um, we just see a little tiny sort of crack at that area there. So we're just gonna infill these little tiny areas that are just, just for a bit of peace of mind, really. Uh, and then we're gonna do a bit more rope inside here. Squeeze that in, although it's rope all the way through, obviously, it's just be nice just to have that sort of flush there. And then we'll put some sort of plate over. You can get like a chrome or a brass plate or black or whatever. Uh, screw to the ceiling and that finishes that off lovely. Oh um, dear? Yeah, yeah you do. Huh. I've seen them. Huh. Darren told try to sell me one. Down at... Uh, Midland, Midland Chandler. Yes, very That's helpful. easy for you to say. They were Midland very helpful. Chandler. Midland Chandlers. Chandlers. Daventry. Daventry one. They were excellent. Very helpful. Okay. Oh, can you get a damp cloth? And I literally will wipe this off where it's not in the holes. Yeah. No. I'm not ready yet. Let's squirt that on my finger because I can't really get the gun round the back there. I'll just squeeze, squeeze it in. Squeeze it in the back. Fill it up. Oh, nice, it's going lovely actually. That looks quite soft, but apparently you can wet it to, and it goes softer. Yeah, you can. What? That? I was going to so say you can someone. Manipulate it I was going to say someone told me that it was you earlier. Yeah. Well, I'll wipe that off quickly. It's on your shoulder. On my bob boulder. The cement was done. More rope had been attached to the joint in the roof. Tests had been carried out. They finally had a heat source they'd always wanted and had before they last left the boat. She starts spinning apparently at 55 degrees. 55, yeah. Doesn't take long for her to start spinning. We're now up to 250 degrees. Um, but honestly, so far one of the better purchases, isn't it? Oh, the boat. It's brilliant. 
it's, it, it's made a huge yeah. difference. So before, um, we used to literally feel the difference, like here, We'd have cold is be cold. cold patches, um, yeah. And now we've moved the thermostats because the gas is now sorted. So we've moved the carbon one of them to here and look in the kitchen, this end of the boat, quite away from the fire. It's still 18 degrees. Yeah, and our bedroom, I don't know what our bedroom was last night. 16, was it? Last 14, night? Last 14. And yeah. usually our bedroom's probably about 10. So it does and shift just, the heat. Just, just to make a point, actually, the, the fan is actually sort of aiming at me. It's not like the fan is actually spreading the temperature around. Yeah, there that way. Directly, yeah. Directly, but it is it's moving the air around. Yeah. So, so you place the fan. Oh. Um, sorry, Annie, did I see stab yeah, you? Sorry, my little angel. So the fan is to be placed either on the side or this side. It doesn't quite fit this side, not at the front. It's got a tiny, um, like Ooh. something in the back of it that it shouldn't be at the front because it's, the, the it's too hot. Yeah, the it gets too hot at the front. So you place it to the side. It doesn't have to be facing the way. That you want it to go because obviously we'd yeah. face it that way but it, it just rather than at the moment the before the fan the air was coming out and going up as you know heat rises now it's coming out according to the diagram it comes out and goes and spreads spreads, this way. spreads around so it's too so much so that ernie's yeah. moved into the bedroom <laughs> where he's too hot <laughs> well we was fed up with daddy Belly we, cuddles. Massive yeah. yeah, real big really, difference. Real big difference yeah. yeah, really good. Highly recommend those. We just got ours from Amazon. You can get them for. Uh, people have found them in little and 15 bizarre 15 places. And yeah, and that sort of stuff. I think we sort of went for an average one. Uh, I mm. think it's about twenty-eight. But you get them different different amount of blades. I think this one's a five blade. You can get like yeah. a seven blader, yeah. a ten blader, but. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I only went yeah. for the five because it wouldn't have fitted. But it's well worth the money. Anyway. But yes, very well worth, the money. well worth it, isn't it? And it was a happy ending. Normal renovation works will begin again next week. Bye.